What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today we are doing my WWE Money in the Bank 2023 predictions video. Money in the Bank takes place this Saturday live in the O2 Arena in London, England. I will be there in the crowd. I will also be at the Smackdown before which will be hopefully be awesome. I don't quite know what content I'm going to be making. Uh, hopefully either a vlog or two and some live reactions uh, for sure. But yeah, I don't know when they'll be up or what, how it's going to work. The whole thing is very, very exciting. I've never been to a televised WWE event before, let alone a pay-per-view. Uh, so this should be very good. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the full card is out. If any matches are added on the Go Home Smackdown, I will be there. Uh, so I will also be adding them in the description and the comments of this video after uh, I get home from the arena. But anyway... There you go, after the go home Raw, before the go home Smackdown, you know the drill. Let's get into the first match of Money in the Bank. Kicking off the show, ladies and gentlemen, we have the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships on the line. I believe the women's tag team titles have been unified now, the NXT women's and the WWE women's. I know Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler are both the champions. Taking on Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan. Now, I'm not quite... I haven't really been following what's been going on with the WWE Women's Tag Division, but as far as I believe, I think Liv and Raquel had the belts, then they vacated them, Ronda and Shayna won, and now Liv's back from injury, we're having the the rematch, or I guess you could say, you know, the champions that never officially lost, taking on the new champs. Uh, either way, I have got Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler retaining the titles. The American Nightmare makes his return to England in a match against Dominic Mysterio, who will have Rhea Ripley at ringside with him. Cody Rhodes, Dominic Mysterio. I don't know how this one's going to go. Um, I definitely know that Cody's going to win, but what I mean is, are we going to see Brock? Is Brock going to make a surprise return in England and beat up Cody Rhodes, setting up a match at SummerSlam? Like... Surely that is, is the next logical step. I, I, I don't know if sometimes the next pay-per-view or the one after the next, but surely we can't just have Cody beating Dom. There, there has to be some foul play involved here. Um, but either way, I've got Cody Rhodes picking up a victory over Dominic Mysterio. The most recently announced match on the Money in the Bank card is one that comes full circle. We have Gunther defending the Intercontinental Championship against Matt Riddle. Now, the reason I say this comes full circle is because about five years ago, when both Walter and Matt Riddle were in Progress Wrestling in England, both of them battled several times in London for the Progress Atlas Championship. And now we're here five years later in the O2 Arena where they're battling over the WWE Intercontinental Championship. It's an awesome thing, awesome sight to behold. But either way, Riddle is not the guy that's going to dethrone Gunther. Gunther is walking away still the historic Intercontinental Champion. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line next as the champion Seth freaking Rollins defends against Finn Balor. Now, stuff's been going on with Finn recently. I ain't got no clue whether he's with the Judgment Day, whether he's going to leave the Judgment Day, whether the Judgment Day are going to turn on him. He just doesn't seem like his head's with it right now. Um, I know, know a lot of it is mind games from Seth freaking Rollins. You know, this is the rematch. And I know we've seen them face off a few times, but the story being built is, you know, you couldn't beat me at SummerSlam 2016. You're not going to beat me now. Uh, so... I don't know. I've got Seth freaking Rollins picking up the victory, retaining the World Heavyweight Championship. But they could throw us a curveball, have Finn win. It would be an awesome surprise and I would not mind it at all. But either way, Rollins is my pick. The Bloodline Civil War is next. Now I'm putting it here, but I would not be surprised if this main evented the show. Roman Reigns, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion with his partner Solo Sokoa, his cousin, taking on... His other cousins, Solo's brothers, Jimmy and Jay the Usos. A bloodline civil war. We have been waiting for this clash for a very long time. And I don't know what's going to happen. But I am predicting Jay Uso to pin Roman Reigns. One, two, three. Off an Uso splash clean in the middle of the ring. And the tribal chief will take a L. He will be pinned for the first time since like 2020 by Jay Uso. That is my prediction. I've got them winning, the Usos. 
Um, whether that happens or not, I don't know. But either way, you know, it could be a solo mishap or something. I've got the Usos picking up a victory here. I don't see why you would have Roman beat the Usos and the Usos rejoin. It's far too late for that. The Usos are going to go their own way. Roman's going to be left with no one. And then eventually he'll drop the titles to whoever. Um, but yeah, Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, my picks to beat Roman Reigns and Solo Sikoa. Now that brings us to the first of the two Money in the Bank ladder matches. First off being the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. The participants are as follows. Zelina Vega versus Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus versus Bailey versus Zoe Stark versus EO Sky for the women's Money in the Bank contract. Who do I think is going to win this one? I don't have a clue. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I, I really don't know. Um, I'm going to go with Becky Lynch to pick up the contract here. I know she doesn't need to be thrust back into the title picture anytime soon. But, you know, if, if Becky wins, instead of her cashing in the same night like they have for every other women's money in the bank, you can have her hold the contract for a good, you know, she, she has a, a full year to cash it in. Um, so, you know, you can really make the most of Becky walking around with the contract and still having feuds here and there with people that aren't in the title scene. Um, I think that would be probably the best bet here. If not, you could give it to someone like EO Sky. I think that would be cool. There's no reason for someone like Trish Stratus or Zoe Stark to get it. Trish, I think she doesn't need it. Zoe Stark, I think it's too early. Overall, I just think it makes the most sense for Becky Lynch to win the Money in the Bank contract. And finally, the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Now, you guys are going to hate me for this one. But anyway, the participants are as follows. Ricochet versus Shinsuke Nakamura versus LA Knight versus Santos Escobar versus Damian Priest versus Butch versus Logan Paul. Now, everyone's wants, everyone wants LA Knight, yeah, to pick up the victory here. But do I see that happening? I do not. And unfortunately... I, I like LA Knight. I know that he's over as hell um, with the audience and I would love to see him pick up the Money in the Bank contract. But because I'm not the WWE super fan that I once was and because I'm going to be there, the part of me that wants to see everyone go absolutely mental and hate what happens so that I can laugh at it laugh at them and just be in amongst all the sea of hate. Um, that part of me overpowers my want for LA Knight to win. And therefore I am picking Logan Paul to become the new Mr. Money in the Bank. Now guys, before you hate all over me, this is something that I think would work uh, genuinely. I know everyone would hate it because they want LA Knight, but if it isn't gonna be LA Knight, definitely it should be Logan Paul. You have to think about it from a business perspective. You know, Logan's doing advertising all the time, whether it be for Prime or whatever. He's always out there. He's in, you know, the media multiverse. I don't know what you'd call it. He's on YouTube. He's a celebrity. He's on talk shows. He's everywhere. He's at movie premieres. He's doing whatever. So if you give him the Money in the Bank contract, when he's doing them other appearances, he is advertising WWE the whole time. Ad 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 for wwe and if people don't know they're going to be thinking why is logan paul carrying around this green and yellow briefcase why does it say money in the bank what does it mean they will google it they will find the wwe they will watch the clip and they might they might just tune in to the next episode of raw or smackdown to see what is going on with logan paul in wwe therefore he is my pick to win money in the bank i know everyone's gonna hate it but i i really want it to happen i don't know why I don't even like Logan Paul that much. I really respect what he's doing in the ring. And I, I love that he's helping out the WWE by bringing more eyes onto the product. And that's exactly why I want him to win. Uh, but there you go, guys. That was my WWE Money in the Bank predictions 2023. Once again, I will be at SmackDown, the go-home SmackDown. And I will be at Money in the Bank live to watch, to react, to do whatever. Uh, I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. It should be good. Um, anyway, if you see me there, if, if you are coming, definitely come over, say hi. You know, we can we can have a chat. We're going to be there for like two days straight. So I'm more than happy to chat to everyone. But yeah, let me know your Money in the Bank predictions in the comment section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.